So you want to roll? Yeah. I'll we roll good with it. this? All right. Okay. So um, what you're looking for is you're going to go to B Mobile's website. The first thing it comes up to is uh, is this page right here. Okay. Uh, currently, uh, you're going to want to pick. Uh, emobile.ne.jp right so for the iPad you're going to want to pick the micro sim okay uh, which is this one the B, where, where are you clicking at okay. it's, it's the icon okay for uh, B micro sim so in here then you click yeah. go to that page all right and it comes up and it shows you this page now you can uh, you can actually feed this page into a filter like Google Translate and then uh, oh really you can read it a little bit better unless you're really good with Japanese like some people are. How do you get the uh, Google Translate to work? Uh, so if I wanted to do that, then I would copy the URL. Okay. Uh, open another page. Okay, so you go to translate.google.com. Yep. And then in here, you're going to want to pick uh, Translate from Japanese to English, unless you want it to be in another language. Okay. Uh, paste in the URL, and then just click on uh, Translate. Wow. And it will translate as much as possible. Uh, of course, unfortunately, it doesn't translate um, images, which is why things like this green button to purchase is still in Japanese. But uh, most of the other things will be in English. Anywhere where it has text, it'll be in English. So if I actually click on the go, go button, Mm -hmm. Then it comes up and it, it tells me all the terms and everything, so that's a good thing for that. Oh, okay. Okay. So um, if there's any kind of scripting or things like that, then it can obscure the translation. Okay. So if I go in, um, I'm going to close this window and go back to the original window that I had. Mm -hmm. So if I go in here and I tell it I want to buy it, I'm going to go down. I have to agree to the uh, the EULA, the agreement for purchase. Okay. And then I can pick one of the two, two options here. This option on here is to purchase online right now as we speak. I see. And uh, the other option on the other side is to uh, do a like a telephone callback thing. I see. So I'm just going to go this this way on this side. Um, actually, I, that might be cash cash on delivery. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah. So it's the telephone thing. Oh, so they give you the telephone, telephone number and then you can call them and you can order. That's one way to do it because uh, if you don't want to deal with this form. And you can just call them, and uh, they're supposed to have English support. So I'm sure if you call and you ask for somebody that speaks English uh -huh. during the daytime, you'll probably not have a problem. I um, see. If so you did call you them call on the, or did you? Uh, uh, I did the form. So oh, I'll really? show you the form. I go back. Uh, hey, go we're still using the Google Translation filter, right? No, we're not. Oh, we're not. Okay. We're going straight up, 100% uh, Japanese on this. Okay, the form is. Uh, Okay, so we're going to go to the form next. So I agree to the agreement. If okay. you don't do that, it won't let you go forward. Right. And you click the online button. Okay, so the form's on the left button. There you go. Yeah, the left button. Okay, so when you come up to this, uh, you have a couple different options. You can uh, choose to, to buy a uh, service contract for a year. Uh -huh. uh, if you do that with the cost to point ratio, you're basically getting two months free. I see. Um, it, you could also go with six months. If you do that, then you basically get a month free. Or you could just choose to go ahead and get it for a 30 day period, and then every 30 days you just have to renew it. Oh, really? After the 30 days is up, you could also renew it for six months or a year as well. Okay. Okay, so just for this demonstration, we'll do the 30 day. 30 days. So I click on that, and then it comes up with this form. Now, um, unfortunately, Google Translate won't uh, work for this form uh, feed in the URL in. But what you can do is, I copy the text, you select and, and copy all this text. And I have it in another page here where I pasted it in, and it tells me what that form is asking for. Oh, really? So, like wow. at, at the beginning here, it's asking for my name, mm -hmm. uh, and then it wants your zip code, mm -hmm. and then it wants your uh, shipping information. So, you have to pick uh, Okinawa. To, I'll go back to the form and show you. Um, so this is a drop down, so you, you have to actually... Um, okay, Okinawa is at the bottom. Oh, Okinawa is always at the bottom of any kind of form. So, and you should recognize it because it's on your license plate. 
Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, there it is. It's down here on the bottom. Okay. And so then you have to actually fill in your, your street address for wherever you're living at. Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to pick is the hour that you want to have the delivery guy show up. So you can tell them, you know, I, I, I'm available mainly in the morning or the afternoon or whatever. Okay. And uh, the delivery guys do a pretty good job of trying to show up when you tell them that you're going to be available right. so that they don't have to come back. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you're going to fill in a phone number and uh, let's see what's the second line is. Um, yeah, your card, your credit card information down here, the credit card type, the special number that's on the back that, uh, make sure that it's a legitimate credit card, the expiration date, the name that's on the card. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you want it to be a purchase over one month or several, because okay. that's an option in Japan. Whenever you buy anything with a credit card, you can spread it out well, that's over right. several months. But usually, for most people, they just want it to be the first uh, time you have a, a payment cycle. It just shows up in full on you, especially if it's only a 30-day uh, service contract, then right. why not just have it all at once? One time buy. Yep, and then down here, you put your email address in twice, and you mm -hmm. click Go. And uh, from that point on, I think it may ask a couple more things, but you just run that stuff through the uh, Google Translate. It's not that really hard to figure out. Okay, wow. I said that, uh, I thought it was going to be... That Google filter is really amazing. All right, well, thanks, Mike. Yep. Excuse me.